how to get the most out of Microsoft SharePoint for schools. This is my class SharePoint learning space. You can see that I've used tiles to set it up, which makes it easy for students to navigate. The first tile here, we've got calendar and notices. So on this page here, I've got a calendar with all my events and here these are all announcements for students and or digital copies of notes. Across here we have three year five classes. So each class has their own homework page. This is mine. For each of the terms, there is a tile. You can see here that I can upload the homework week by week for students to access. This reduces photocopying. Students can download and use their devices to access homework. I can incorporate interactive web links. I can also add in video tutorials to support students with their homework. Homework is placed online on a Friday, so students are able to do the homework on the weekend or during the week. Having the one SharePoint site for multiple classes enables us to share curriculum resources. So here are the tiles for curriculum subjects. I might go into maths, for example. Now, maths, as we've got many different pages for it, is divided into terms. These are the topics which we cover during term two. Now, you'll notice here that I've actually got location and transformation and a HAP. So HAP is a higher achiever program for students. So I could be working on resources on this SharePoint page with my class. And you can see that there are worksheets to download, notes to support students, and videos embedded. So a student can look at this in advance, or after the lesson they can go home and look at it. It's kind of like what it is, flipping the classroom in some senses. Now, if a student is well advanced in a particular area and they need an extension program, they can click on HAP. And there are a range of student learning outcomes and resources to help and extend students. So students will come on here, watch a video, follow a worksheet, then check in with a teacher, enabling the class teacher to work with the cohort while students can have independent learning on a Higher Achiever program page. Another way to get the most out of SharePoint having a group page is to have multiple options. For example, this page here is how I teach fractions. Uh, another teacher likes to teach fractions using a different order, so she has her own fractions page. And again, we have a hat page as well. If I take a look at another curriculum subject area now, uh, I might choose Hass. Because there's not so many topics to cover, we don't have it term by term. So these are the Hass topics, which we cover in year five. For example, I covered a unit on bushfires. This page here is designed for a teacher to follow along with resources, lesson tasks and so forth. And then when students needed to focus on their inquiry, had inquiry on a choice of three different bushfires, we could set up a page providing links with both secondary and primary resources 
for students to access in order to support them with their learning. You can see that all of the curriculum areas are covered. We also have additional resources, which are online games or archive resources.